Sure. Okay. Um, you you dwarf that area, but you don't find any signs of sliding or shifting. That was your suspicion with the stupid owl <coughs> to be able to find the, the door handle or whatever. Maybe it slides backwards or forwards or something. However, you didn't find any indication that it does so. I know how these doors work. I'm going to run head first and look really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dwarven door. Right up in your character. Tricky, but uh, I'll assume that was a jest uh, at this point. Yes. <laughs> Tell me if you really want to do that. Any other actions? <laughs> any other actions as you head down the corridor to the east, to the right side, uh, past the secret door, and heading down to a T intersection? I'm going to try to catch up with the party now. I see that mm -hmm. they're wrapping things up and everything, and I'm mm -hmm. just in case they need an extra uh, weapon. So the Great Bone Project seems to be a successful. Yeah, and I know. Yeah. There are various ones being carried, plus yeah. three skulls being carried as well. Fire's going outside. We've got enough fuel to burn the bones. I'll take a second to see if I can open, we got me open telling. the door. Uh, try, okay, once again, D6. Try for low. Three. That's my usual watchword. D6, try for low. Uh, real simple. We can resolve almost every anything with, with one D6. Uh, you don't find any uh, indication of how to get in through the secret door or how to open it, anything like okay. that. Uh, it is relatively easy to find at this point, at least. Uh, as, as a human That's mage, you're not used to finding secret doors, but there one is. Wow. You've developed a new talent, a new ability. It's almost like it's written. I'm not good. Bringing out the rear with Aloysius mapping. I'll, yeah. uh, I've tested the I'll tail end of the party where we've reached the secret door okay. area now. And you're, you're catching up to the rest of the group, some of which have been doing a little advanced scouting, shall yes. we say. Not, yep. not to label it as running off and abandoning the comrades. Uh, <laughs> leaving the still dripping, squirting body of the uh, decay. Decapitated mage <laughs> laying in the front room to welcome any further parties who arrive while you're in the Parsi depths of the dungeon. Because we took yeah, some of his clothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, naked. Partially. <laughs> oh, 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 Left him naked and bleeding. Okay. Well, I'm walking by the secret door. I think it should be. It should be like a thing as you walk by. Be like, oh, look, the secret door. Can you open it? Yeah. No. What? Um. Unfortunately, even I you are unable to uh, run that. Yes. Yep. Wait, I think I've... No, I'm just yep. Oh, well. I'll, 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 I'll make an attempt. Oh, there's the door out there. Uh, okay. <coughs> Go ahead and roll. Literally no way to do it. Again, the usual. D6, five, four. Oh, two. Okay. Uh, you, just, you are unable to get the door open, too. You've tried pushing, just sliding, up, up, down, any which way, uh, looking for uh, secret, just pushing things on the wall one. nearby, yeah. all sorts of means, and you still have found no way to open the secret door. What do I see? I'm going to okay. knock on it. Can I see if it's new construction? Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, <coughs> let me have another D6 from you. Try for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand yeah. back when he's sitting Can I still see that? daylight from where we are? <laughs> you think you hear something as you're about to knock on it. You uh -oh. wish to knock anyway? Yes. 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 Now, your, yes. op your options are you stop sure and try and quiet everybody down so you can hear more clearly. Or go ahead and knock on the door. Or a board action yeah, and just continue sense. on. I'm going to tell everyone to shut up for a second. And I'm going to... Shut up! I'm assuming I have something like a handkerchief or Fine. something. I'm going to put over my ear and put my ear to the door. Okay, to, to protect your ear. We'll see what happens when you pick up skulls. God knows. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay, you listen. That spike that comes through the door really, the handkerchief's really not going to help them. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing them out there. You hear, it sounds like a very deep voice, but not speaking. Instead, it sounds like it's gasping. Oh, God. <laughs> Ogre has asthma. It's an iron man. Yeah, sure, that's it. It's an asthma. Or well, there's two of them. Uh, I'm just going to knock anyways. Oh. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. You do notice that when you are <coughs> in a supposedly solid stone wall, it sounds like it must be relatively thin or maybe a fake stone or something because it definitely makes a semi-hollow sound indicating there is, is space behind it and not like four feet of rock. Uh, and it is, it would, you figure based on that sound, it, it would be certainly audible for whatever's on the other side. Bang, bang. Um, now, banging on stone doesn't produce the sound that banging on a wooden door or something will. Um, but, but nevertheless, it's notable and audible. Okay. Is now, everybody? just we'll just say once again that most of the party reluctantly quiet down briefly to let the dwarf play his little game, and then you can get back into action and continue on. 
Uh, should we, can, uh, we dwarf, right. dwarf, can, can, can uh, with your mining skill, do you think we could just smash this rock? I was about to ask if anyone wants to see if I can. Are we even there? Oh, we have chisels, down, right? Yeah, yeah, I have a hammer and chisel. Well, I, I have a hammer and chisel. I have a very large chisel. Can we have another D6, Luke, please? Yeah, sure. Oh, again, make sure no one nudges up against me. I've got a Five. death skull here. Oh, okay. You notice your report. All right. Uh, okay. Um, he's still messing with that door, discussing breaking in, etc. Some people, uh, yeah, you were up, go you right were up at the front of the party, but you held back to bang on the door. Okay, fair enough. Others who were advancing down yeah, that east corridor have come down to that T intersection. We're gonna go left, right, right turn around, yeah, run away, go right. all right, your mommy. No, yeah. Okay. okay. We have found the right, you said. I'm, I'm going yes. to right. okay. I'm gonna make sure that I'm positioned on the side of the door that is closest to the entrance. <laughs> so I'm not going to pass the door until they figure out what to do because I can get myself an out. Okay, right. Apparently the cleric is just west of the secret door, just yeah. doesn't like being attacked from the rear. Um, you have the dimensions all clear on mapping down to the, uh, the T intersection. Looking to the right, mapper alert, um, looking to the right at the T intersection, Carter goes 20 feet, after which it turns right. In other words, the right wall, or west wall, is 20 feet long. Um, all clear over there? Um, you do at this point, however, also see by your torchlight to, to the north, to your left at the T intersection, <coughs> Carter only goes 10 feet. Mappers, are we good? Yep. After which the right east wall continues at least another 30. So it apparently opens mm -hmm. out into a larger area there to the north. You do not hear any noises from that direction. Again, to the south, it looks like Carter went 20 feet, after which it turned right. Mm -hmm. Nobody has proceeded in that direction, so no further information until somebody advances. I'm sorry, well, they, yeah, they, they, the one that's going, they, but yeah, the going, going left, the one going north, how, how far is that? The one to the north went 10 feet, both ah. sides, <coughs> after which the right wall only continues another 30. Therefore, apparently opening into a larger area of some sort. All clear? Yeah, looks great. Mappers, you're doing fine. Uh, everything's going to be fine. Um, we're going to keep going south. When we turn, we're just going to keep following the hallway. Okay. Since most of you guys in this group organization are to the rear of the party and most of them are towards the front of the party, um, I would like you to make sure that you know who amongst this group is more towards the front and more towards okay. the rear. As this group. Well, You're more towards the front. Well, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to catch up with them right now. Right. Yeah. Following you is her. Right. Okay. Yes. And him. Well, yeah, and then it's me, Talon, and Aloysius no, bringing yeah. back up no, the rear. Kind of like and forth. Yeah, and forth. Yeah, and forth. Yeah, <laughs> Door, yeah. et okay. So you're a little more spread out over there. Might fall out. Yes. Yes. And some of this, <laughs> some of this group, of this group now just ahead of you guys is Dan's cleric here, just shy, just west of that secret door, because he doesn't want to go by and get jumped from behind. Yeah. Welcome to the party, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go you, help the if, door. <laughs> if any of you wish to pass the secret door and join up with the front group, you let me know here. Well, right. that was that was me. Oh, I was okay. I was trying to catch up with them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. just me. Oh, well, we we basically swapped him for the clerk. What? We on continuous vid here? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm MPEG? back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm As you like, I'm good. <coughs> yes. Sure. Because you're because you're going in. You're, you're Who's proceeding south? We are. We're all the way yeah, over we're, here. We're yeah, I'm going with them. Right proceeding south. South, you go the 20 feet south. Yep. Somebody has a torch and so forth. Um, yeah, yeah, vision, look, torch. Torch. Yeah. Well, in, we can discuss it. Doesn't vision if you like. Torch, but yeah, yeah <laughs> the, t the torch screws it up, and, and it's not uh, pure right. infrared. Uh, gotcha. you know, I have a torch. Yeah, yeah, doesn't see us. It's, it's, it's rough. Um, and generally speaking, you, your dungeon experience, you know that very often the air is the same temperature as the, the, the walls. And you get just a gray mass of nothing, you know, yeah. no indicator. And, and there could be skeletons three feet from you. And you won't know. And you wouldn't know, right? <laughs> um, looking to the right, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you proceeded to the right, went down the 20 foot corridor, and it turned right once again. Uh, there, it only goes 10 feet and ends in a door. This door is very large and foreboding. And you see that. This 10-foot section, the door goes up nine feet, you know, almost to the very top, and it is quite wide, as much as as eight feet wide here. No, no. Listen, 